everybody. Cindy out of here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Alright, I wanted to show you, I normally don't do like haul videos and I'm not going to start doing haul videos, but I wanted to show you what I found. My husband and I went on this little mini vacation and we went to uh, what we call the Amish country here down in Pennsylvania. And while we were down there, of course, I had to do a little bit of shopping, you know. So um, one, this I found in a book outlet store, and it's The Art of Silliness, a creativity book for everyone. Draw, doodle, and play for 10 minutes a day by Carla Sondheim. Now, I actually did a lesson with her in Life Book a couple years ago, and I just love her style and um, how she does silliness. She just does um, cartoonish, silly kid play drawings. So I found this book, like I said, in a bookstore. Um, it was in a 60% off. So I picked that up. I had to. So I'm looking forward to playing around in that. Um, if you're interested, like I said, it's called The Art of Silliness by Carla Sondheim. And uh, I just, I look at her style. I love it. It's just so cartoony and kids and it's just fun. So that's one thing that I picked up I had to have. Then I found this. This is called Beautiful Doodles, and it's by Nellie Ryan. And it's over 100 pictures to complete and create. Okay, and this has got just all kinds of really cool. Let's go fly a kite, design a card, what does the baby need, catch it, depends on what you're catching, roller skates. And I just thought this was fun. And I thought it would be great just to play around in, you know, if I'm on the couch on a uh, pain management day, whatever the case may be, and just decorate crowns, draw butterflies. I just thought this was really cool. And again, this one was 60% off, so I only paid like 6 bucks for it. It was like $13 original. This one was originally 16 so I paid, you know, 6 8 bucks for it, something like that. So I wanted to share those with you. The other thing I found, uh, this was at a flea market. I found these Stampin' Up! stamps, and they were $3, so I was like, eh, why not? And I, I just love them. They're little blocks, um, little square little square blocks with different um, edges on them. Can you see the edges? And they look barely used. So those are kind of cool. I can't wait to play with those in some of my art. The last thing I'm going to show you is this pile of yummy goodness. Um, this again was at the flea market and there was a gentleman sitting there and he, he had a big um, tub full of sewing stuff and he says I'll give you a good deal I said okay so I pulled out these different trims um, this one I really love it's just look at the you, I don't know if you can see it it's glittery see it I love it so I got all of these cool really cool trims. I like this one too. Very glittery. Which I thought were really neat. Um, here's another one. Just little pieces of lace. This is a green one. I thought that was really pretty. So anyways, I pulled these all out of his tote. That's a pretty piece of lace. And um, he says, will you give me two bucks for them? I said, you got it. So I gave him two dollars and I got all of these really cool, look at this, it's not pretty. So for two bucks, I got all these really neat um, laces, I'm not sure what you want to call them, trims, I call them trims. So that was really cool. So that's what I got when we were down in the Amish country, I just want to set this aside. And now what I want to show you is my goodness, goodness from taking the Diane Reevely. Um, I took three classes from her last weekend. Let me bring you out just a little bit. And um, let's see, three classes. This was a brand new journal when I got it. Um, that is what we received in the class was a brand new journal. And I just wanted to show you uh, some of the goodness pages that we ended up making in this journal. This is just a cutout from another page, which you'll see. Um, this I did. Well, actually, I did all of this, but this was in the class. And what Diane taught us was, first of all, um, 
creating backgrounds. That was the very first course that I took on a Saturday morning was creating backgrounds. The second one was tags and texture, which I'll show you that. I got some in there. I also have some in here. And then um, the backgrounds and the tags and textures, we use the paint. This came from another one of our books. I just wanted to show you the goodness. It was so much fun. Um, my hands, I thought, were going to stay black for months, but they didn't. Uh, so anyways, we learned, you know, we worked with her paints. And then on Sunday, we worked with her sprays. And as everybody knows, or if you don't know, I'll let you know, um, we learned how to make these little pockets for these tags. That was kind of cool. This actually um, was added in, which I added in with washi tape. Um, another background page. We just, we learned a lot. I learned a lot about her sprays and about how to use her sprays uh, in different ways. This one I didn't use enough spray, as you can tell. Backgrounds that we made. These are with paints. That's the frame we made. This is using her journaling block. Again, paints and stencils and just having fun. That's just a wipe off page. There's another background. So I just wanted to give you a you know a peek. These are a couple tags that we made with these pockets that go in though. They do go in. Mine's a little bit tight. I used a little bit too wide of a tape here. But pockets for tags. Um, oh, I love this. I love this background. This is so cool. But anyways, I wanted to share with you um, what these journals look like when I brought them home. That's pretty. She sh showed us how to do the blocks um, with paint. This is a hidden pocket. Uh, she showed us how to do that. This is the mica sprays. Isn't that pretty? Love those mica sprays. They were a lot of fun. Another background. You can tell my book is falling apart, but that's because I got a lot of ink. <laughs> I'm sorry, a lot of uh, spray down in. These are just wipe off pages. Another one. Uh, this is another page where we learned how to put the uh, tag in. You can see it on both sides. All right, another background, which was a lot of fun to play with. Backgrounds. So I have a whole book full of backgrounds. Um, so this is going to be fun to play with. So that's one. This is the other one, and I have to tell you that um, I have the small black one, uh, which I had not even used yet. It's over in my pile of un unused journals. And this is the small white one that I purchased while I was up there. And I have to tell you, I really, really love uh, this small one. Let me bring you down in a little bit. Um, some of these are backgrounds that we did up there. Some I just started playing with. Some are wipe-off pages. Um, and this is using all of Diane's, uh, well, not all of it, because some of this I did when I got back home. But this is using her, her style of journaling. And again, these are backgrounds, some done with paint, some done with inks. So I just wanted to give you a show. I love this one. I think that's so pretty. Um, and I found that, like I said, I really like this size of a journal. So I wouldn't be surprised to see more of these end up in my stash over there. Just playing. Wipe off pages, uh, cleaning off sponges, playing around with inks, paints, more paints, inks. So these, like I said, these right now are all just backgrounds. I haven't had a chance to really work through any of these. And then of course there's some blank pages in here. But, so I wanted to show you that happy goodness I showed you the goodies I got while we were on our little mini trip, and that's it. Now I need to get recording some videos and uh, some play with some more paint. 
So as always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.